What is up guys and gals, I am Psycho Sandman, thank you for joining me. Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. This is a very special video today for two reasons. One, because I'm using my webcam for the first time as you can see, so you guys are seeing my face for the first time. And number two, this is a Gears of War 4 video, but more importantly, how do you install it? How do you play it on PC? But we're going to get into this and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's going to be a real quick video. I do want to apologize for Mike being in the way. Um, it is a dynamic mic, so I got to talk right into it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do, um, and you probably have done this already, you need to have Windows 10 with the anniversary update. That is the first and foremost thing that you need to have. If you don't have that, this won't work. So make sure you have that. Most everybody rocking Windows 10 is going to have that by now. So once you get that all straightened out, if you got to do some updates or whatever, I know I had to do an update a while back and it was a pain in the butt. I had to call Microsoft. I had to call a bunch of people to figure it out. They even had to take control of my computer to get it going. It was a mess. Finally got it situated. So I'm sure everybody's rocking the anniversary edition. So what you want to do, you want to open up a, a web browser, Google Chrome, whatever your preferred browser is. And I use Google. So sorry about the bright screen. And we're going to go to Gears of War for PC. That's all you need to put. Once you get there, you need to go to the official Gears of War website, gearsofwar.com. It's going to be the first one down after the ad pops up. So go here, and this is what it's going to look like. So you have two options, basically. You have the Standard Edition, Ultimate Edition. Standard Edition, obviously, is just your game. That's all you're going to get. Ultimate Edition, you get Early Access, Season Pass, um, Physical Exclusive, some kind of steel bookcase or something like that. Digital Exclusive, you get like... Um, all kinds of access to exclusive developer playlists and gear packs and all that. Is it worth $100? I'll let you decide. It's not my money, it's yours. You decide how you want to spend it. So, my, me, I got the Ultimate Edition. I got it a long time ago just because I'm a big, big Gears of War fan. So, But if you pick the Standard Edition, just click on the white tab. It'll bring you to this page. You'll see the Standard Edition is $59.99. Ultimate Edition is $199.99. So, you can hit pre-order, you can hit buy, whatever you want to do. So, after you've done this process... And you bought the game nothing happens basically you're sitting here at the screen and it just says congratulations you own the game it'll say this i'll show you it'll say this right here so i got it and it'll say you own this and that's it like okay so what do you do now what there's no download link there's no go here to download it you get an email saying congratulations you now own gears of war 4 and that's it so what do you do it's very simple guys you can close your internet browser down you don't need that anymore but what you want to do Come down here, ask me anything, just hit store. Store's right there, open it up. This is the Windows Store. Who actually goes here anymore? I haven't been here since Windows 10. I've, I've visited on a Windows 8, but since Windows 10, I have not been back. But you have to. If you want Gears of War 4, you have to, you have to go here. So this is where it is. The best thing to do, I, I, the, what I did, just come up here to games. There's games right there. Gears of War 4 pops up, obviously. It's the biggest thing in Microsoft right now. So you can click here. And you get Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition pre-order, blah, blah, blah. And it says you own this product. Or you can go to um, Gears of War 4 Standard Edition. Uh, right, It'll be right here. And you can just go there. But it says Manage. And this is quite simple, guys. When you hit Manage, it brings you to your library. So this is all the stuff that you have. All your apps, your games, music, movies. You may have more, you may have less, depending on what you know, you're into. Um, basically it's simple guys once you get right here the game is not installed yet so you want to come over here and you want to click um, download it'll be an arrow pointing down and that'll be it you just download it and you need 80 gigs of a hard drive so make sure you clear a lot of space for your this is a huge game with HD texture packages and um, all kind of stuff I believe the disc version needed a 21 gig day one patch I mean that's insane these games are getting as in more getting more graphically intense graphically intense excuse me they're getting more and more they're getting bigger so you're gonna need bigger hard drives and everything else so once it's downloaded this is what you get once again no direction you have nothing it's downloaded hard drive space is taken up and what do you do now simple click Gears of War 4 and it says available as a button and it says product is installed there's your play button done all you gotta do is hit play and it will load up and it it's it will go it actually load um and you can play it i've tried it i went in there adjusted my settings and everything and it is working and my next video is going to be a um gears of war 4 now if you have a quick if you have a question of whether or not you can get that um icon on the desktop i don't know 
I don't know if going to the store is the only way to do it. Uh, there may be a way you can go into your hard drive and pick out your executable, maybe copy a shortcut or make a shortcut to your desktop and it may work. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I'm fine with just going into the store and, and playing it from here. So, but you can play around with it if you want to, but that's basically it guys. It is, it is really, really simple. Just follow these steps and you'll be playing Gears of War 4 in a matter of minutes. Now, keep this in mind it is 80 gigs so it's going to take a long time to download i'm rocking 150 megabytes a second and it took me two and a half hours so grab some popcorn go see a movie take your girlfriend out to dinner or whatever you want to do play another game it's going to be a while it's going to be a while but just keep that in mind so i just want to bring this video to you guys i know a lot of people have been confused about where to go how to do it so this is it this is that simple so if you found it helpful guys leave me a thumbs up check out my channel for more gameplay videos and how to's i have plenty of them up uh and remember the key to being a psycho gamer is to live easy and game hard i'm psycho sandman and i will see you all in the next video